Dasha Terminal with the Waifu token is one of the best performing tokens since launch on Solana. Now we see a dip. We are down almost 50%. Does it make sense to buy this dip? Let's have a look at some on-chain analytics that most people aren't looking at. Let's also try to estimate the potential upside because Dasha is imitating a concept that's already very successful on the base chain. Now since listing on CoinMarketCap, the token is up by roughly 3x. But the real gains are to be made early before listing even on CoinMarketCap. Since trading began on the Solana chain, we are up more than 5,000%. And so Dasha is now at place number 12 in terms of liquidity among the trending tokens on Solana. The platform is a launchpad for AI agents. And if you've been around in crypto recently, you know another launchpad. You might have heard of the Virtual Protocol, the second largest trending token on the base chain. It's got almost 30 million in liquidity and it launched, for example, the Luna token. Luna in itself has already 4 million liquidity. Now let's make a back of the envelope calculation. Let's see how big Solana is relative to base and let's see how big the Virtual Protocol is and let's see how high then potentially the Dasha token could go. So Solana has roughly two and a half times the total value locked of base. In terms of trading volume, it's roughly five times as large. So let's just roughly average those two numbers. Let's say Solana is four times, three to four times larger than base. If we now take the market cap of virtual protocol, which is on base, and we multiply this with a factor of four, we get to a market cap of a similar platform on Solana of maybe 800 million. Currently, the waifu token has a market cap of 130 million, roughly. So we're looking at a potential maybe 7x from here, which would then, we are rounding a lot here, put the price at roughly $1. Now let's have a look if this rally over here, this is the linear scale, if this was natural and organic or if this was manipulation. Let's compare social metrics. So on the X platform on Twitter, we've got 4,000 followers. In Telegram, we've got 3,000 members. On Chain, we've got 12,000 holders. So those numbers kind of align, they kind of make sense. It's not like the number of Twitter followers is 10 times the number of holders on Chain. There's no manipulation on that front. Now let's dive deeper into the on-chain analytics and let's try to find out what actually those 12,000 holders are. What we've got on the left is the number of recurring traders over time. What we've got on the right is the number of token transactions over time. And we can see a very nice growth happening in two waves. What's interesting is that the second wave over here was not as large for the user count compared to the number of transactions. What we're seeing over here is the trading volume and we've got this in two forms. On the left side is the trading volume just measured in US dollars. On the right side is the trading volume, the same kind of trading volume, but just normalized to 100% per day. And again, we see our two waves. Again, we see that the second wave was much larger. And what we also notice is a clear trend in terms of the trading volume based on the different segments. Now, what are those segments? Small retail is all the wallets that have less than $1,000 worth of the token. Medium-sized retail is up to $10,000. Large retail is up to $100,000. And Wales is above $100,000. So the trading volume gets more and more dominated by the big guys. Now, instead of looking at the segregation in terms of US dollars, we can also look at this in terms of the number of tokens, right? Because the price went up, this might distort the picture. On the left side, we've got the number of wallets that hold at least 10,000 waifu tokens. For the chart in the middle, we go at 10x in minimum holding, so 100,000 tokens. For the chart on the right, another 10x, so a million tokens. Since the price is currently a bit over 10 cents, we can approximate this with $1,000, $10,000, $100,000 worth of the token, roughly. So this is small retail, this is the big whales. We see very nice accumulation by small retail. We see more and more retail wallets getting into the token. This is exactly what we want to see. We want to see organic growth. The number of small retail wallets has almost tripled in the last three to four days. Medium-sized retail has also grown quite a bit, not as much, but still, it almost doubled in the last few days. And the number of whales is pretty much constant. Now, just because the number of whales is constant doesn't mean that the whales aren't dominating the price more. Because it seems like the whales are dollar cost averaging into the token. Just have a look at this. Most supply is now owned by the whales. It's 77% of all of supply. Only 1% of supply is held by wallets with less than $1,000 worth of the token. Now, I very much like a trend like this. It seems like the number of whales is flat, but the token ownership moves towards the whales. The whales tend to make the better calls, right? Crypto is both a game of luck and skill. The more the game is played, the more the money flows towards the skilled people. Thus, when the whales own a lot of the token, that's a good sign. Now, the question is always about how 
can we find tokens early before they go up? For example, over here, right? This is the pump.fund ecosystem. So the launch pad of meme coins on Solana. It's the second best performing crypto category in all of crypto in the last week. And here are the individual tokens and the best performing token in the last week within that ecosystem is Dasha Waifu. Let's have a look at the largest pump.fund ecosystem tokens. Here, the best performers were Peanut and Comedian Ben. Now, I published videos on both tokens early on this channel and I analyze meme coins regularly over here. So if you want to be early, feel free to subscribe over here, potentially even hit the notifications because sometimes the YouTube algorithm can be pretty slow. And so here's how we can find those tokens early. Have a look at this. This is the Peanut token, which was bought at three cents by Crypto Banter. Now, here's the crypto channel of Crypto Banter. They've got 1.1 million subscribers. When they talk about the token, it generates attention and the price tends to go up. And so here are the wallets that we found, again, through on chain analytics by Crypto Banter. It's 33 wallets just for this individual YouTube channel. In total, we track more than 400 wallets. And so I really believe that crypto trading is not just luck. Of course, there is a luck component involved, but it also has a lot of skill. If we follow the people that move markets, if we follow the people that tend to make profit, we tend to also copy their returns. And because of that, I made a tutorial section just on wallet tracking. How can we find individual influencer wallets? How can we then track those wallets? And how can we subsequently interpret the signals that we get from the tracking? It's all part of premium. The link is down below, thebitcoinstrade.com. Premium is not just about wallet tracking. It's also about on-chain analytics, right? The charts that we looked at today. It's also about backtesting. It's also about risk management and portfolio diversification. There's more than a hundred videos in total. Once we've got a signal, we of course also have to discuss when to buy, when to sell. We have to compare different analytics. That's why we've got our dedicated altcoin chats as well. So feel free to check it out. It's currently 125 US dollars per month. There's also a one week money back guarantee. So in case you don't like premium, in case you don't make money, just message me within the first seven days and I will fund you 100%. There's really zero risk for you. And so I'm quite bullish on the Dasha platform. I believe that the Y4 token can potentially make a 7x if it reaches similar heights to the virtual protocol. I personally don't own any tokens yet, but I am considering to buy some after releasing of this video. If you got some value out of this video, feel free to subscribe. I publish you exactly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. See you in the next video or see you in premium. Cheers.